Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on guys? How we doing? Matt Antonelli here today answering your questions. And the question today is about my major league call up. And so this may be the first time you've watched any of my videos. You may have no idea who I am. And so I'm going to walk you through very quickly uh, my professional career right up to the point where I get called up. And then I'm going to get into the details of exactly how it happened. Okay. So first off, um, I was drafted in 2006 by the San Diego Padres in the first round, 17th overall. So it was a pretty high draft pick. Went to uh, short season A ball in 2006, okay? So went to Eugene, Oregon, played in short season there. Went to low A about halfway through that season, maybe three quarters away through the season. Finished up the season at low A uh, in my first year. My next year in 2007, I started off in high A. Played half the year there, had a really, really good year. Uh, was an all-star, got called up to double-A, had a really, really good year in double-A, ended up being an all-star there. And uh, within two years, or basically one full year, because the first season was only a half a season, in 2008 it went to triple-A. So I've already basically gone through the entire minor league system in a year and a half, which might not, might not seem that fast, but in minor league baseball terms and professional baseball terms, that is really, really fast. So in 2008, I'm in Portland, Oregon, and triple A. Okay, I'm at this point the number two prospect for the Padres, and I think I'm a top 50 prospect in Major League Baseball or, or in the minor leagues. Um, and so they would, I guess I was considered on the fast track to the big leagues. And I actually thought I might have gotten called up the season before. Okay, so things are going really, really well for me. Now in 2008 in triple A, I completely forget how to swing. I complete, I, I don't know what happened. My swing just fell apart on me. Okay. And so I struggle that entire season. So I go from thinking I'm getting called up to the big leagues the season before to thinking that I'm never going to get called up and I actually thought I was going to get sent down to double A. Now, three quarters of the way through the season, I'm hitting about 160 something, right? So it's not just bad. It's, it's horrendous. I might be the worst hitter in AAA. I probably was, I would say, for the amount of at-bats I had because I was... I was starting every day, and actually towards the towards the, the latter part of the season, they actually stopped playing me every day. Now, I still played because I was still only like 20. I just turned 23 years old. I was first-round draft pick, and I'm, I'm a top prospect. I'm supposed to be in the major league soon. Um, and so they still played me, but just not as much as maybe I was accustomed to playing like every day. Um, luckily for me, Sean Wooten, a teammate of mine who I'd played with prior, um, was a great, great hitting coach. He's actually the uh, one of the major league hitting coaches for the uh, Los Angeles Angels right now. Um, and so he was actually playing at the time, and he's the one that really helped break down my swing and help fix it, okay? He was the only one that could do it. They had me working with every hitting coach in America, and uh, nobody could figure it out. They had me go in the psychologists, and uh, they thought it was in my head, and they couldn't figure it out. But Luckily, Sean was able to give me a couple of keys. He's the first one to help me figure out what my what was not only what was wrong with my swing, but just taught me about the swing. I never had been struck. I never struggled in my life, so I never really had to think about my swing. I just always hit until I didn't hit. And so Sean really helped me with all that. And somehow he got me to hit 300 in the last month of the season. And so I went from the worst three uh, worst you know half a year to three quarters of a year of my life to then hitting 300. I hit five home runs the last month. I'd only had two home runs the entire beginning of the year. The first four months of the season, I only had two. I hit five in the last month. And now we're playing in Tacoma, Washington. I'm playing against the Tacoma Rainiers, a AAA team of the Seattle Mariners. And uh, game ends. I'm in the clubhouse. And... Uh, our manager comes over to me and says, hey, can I see you in, the, in my office for a minute? So I'm like, in my mind, I'm thinking like, well, I don't, I, I'm not going down. The season is basically almost over. I'm like, I don't know. I really don't know what he's going to say. But the last thing that ever crossed my mind was that I was going to the major leagues. Literally the last thing. I thought I was getting sent down the whole year. Um, and so I walk in there and he sits me down. He basically says like, you know, gives me a little talk about how he knows it's been kind of a rough year for me, but I've done a really good job of turning everything around. And then he says, um, congratulations, you're going to the big leagues. And I think I was in total shock. I wish I had a, a video camera on me at that point. I don't, uh, 
I don't know what my face looked like. I probably stared at him in disbelief for like 10, 15 seconds. But eventually, I came to and I said, uh, I said, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Obviously, he was very super excited. Walked out of the clubhouse. And, um, you know, I, I think some players kind of... Usually, when you go into the manager's office, um, you're either going down or you're going up. And uh, I wasn't going down at the end of the season. There was no season left. I wasn't getting cut or released. And so I came out. I think a lot of players kind of knew what was going on. And so they ended up, you know, hugs and high fives and all that stuff. Went out to the, uh, went outside the clubhouse, actually in Tacoma. It's like, um, it's like a little trailer back, back when I was playing there, they were like renovating. So we're in like this little tiny trailer thing. And I walked out and I called my, uh, my dad and my mom and I let them know that I was getting called up. Um, so that they could fly out and watch me. And then I called my, uh, called my wife, who at that time, we were not married. She was my girlfriend at the time. Uh, we had been together for, uh, I don't know, at that point, a couple of years. And I let her know. And, uh, and it was time to go to the big leagues. So uh, it, was, it was the strangest thing. The worst year of my life, literally baseball-wise. The worst year of my life. It was the first time I was ever unsuccessful. Not only unsuccessful. It's not like I hit 250. I helped, you know, again, I was hitting like 165, 170 for most of the year. Now I finished the year, I think I finished at like 220 something. Um, and I had to really hit that last month of the year to get up to 220 something. Um, so you, you probably very rarely ever hear of players getting called up from AAA hitting 220. Um, I might be the only player to ever do that. That wasn't like maybe just like a stud defensive player that they needed to call up because of defensive purposes. And so... Um, yeah, so I get off the phone and I'm very, very excited. I'm a little bit nervous because even though, you know, I, I'd always pictured being called up as like, you know, hitting 350 in the minors with basically the year before my 2007 year, like that's how I pictured getting called up being an all-star at every level. I hit 21 homers that year. I hit like 315 right around there. I think for the season combined, um, that's what I picture going up as, like full of confidence, ready to just go up and just crush it at the major league level. And although I hit well in, in the last month of the year, I still didn't feel like I still had a lot of doubts in my head because I had just gone through four straight months of the worst baseball ever. And um, it's a very weird thing when all of a sudden you forget how to hit. Um, because I went a long time, pretty much ever since Little League, where... I never went in a slump for more than like three days. Um, I was always pretty much considered the best hitter on the team or one of the best hitters on the team. Uh, if not the best hitter, you know, when I was in high school, I guess I was considered like one of the best hitters in the state. And uh, when I was in college, I was considered one of the best hitters in the country. I got drafted really, really high. And then in the minor leagues, I was considered one of the best hitters in the minor leagues. So you go from that to then all of a sudden forgetting, completely forgetting how to hit and going from one of the better hitters to one of the worst hitters. And so that was still kind of in the back of my mind, if not in the front of my mind, being like, um, I, I still don't feel super confident, but I was no doubt obviously excited to go up. So uh, the, next, uh, the next day I flew up, I woke up super early, me and my buddy Wade LeBlanc, we got called up on the same day and uh, we were roommates throughout the minor leagues, probably my best friend in the minor leagues. We both got called up on the same day, so we jumped on the flight together, super early flight out of uh, Washington. And we flew down to Los Angeles. We were playing the Dodgers. And uh, so I flew in. Uh, we arrived. I thought I wasn't going to play that day. I figured I was just going to show up and they were going to have me just watch the game. So I show up, get in a taxi. We go right over the stadium. I get in, go right to uh, the manager's office. Buddy Black is our manager at the time. I walk in and, and say, hey, what's going on, buddy? Shakes my hand, congrats, congratulates me, and says, um, you're in the lineup tonight. You're playing second base, and uh, Greg Maddox is on the mound. And I was like, okay. <laughs> um, so I was, uh, at this point, I'm getting a little bit more nervous. Again, I think I'm not going to play. And then I'm, not only am I playing, I'm playing against a future Hall of Fame pitcher. And so now i got to get ready to go. And I jump in, I, I go and do the th my thing. I, I uh, take batting practice with the team and everything. I'm just kind of taking it all in. It is very surreal. It is very strange being in the major leagues for the first time in your life. I don't even know how to describe it. I mean, it's something that you think about your whole life, but to actually be there is very, very odd. Almost feels like a dream in some ways. And, uh, and so the game started and I was very, very nervous. 
Um, I went into the field, first batter of the game, Russell Martin for the Dodgers, hits a ground ball at me. And I feel that I'm like, I feel this thing, and I look down at my glove, and I'm just praying that it's in my glove, and it's in there. And I throw to first, I'm praying that it goes to the first baseman, it goes to the first baseman. And uh, we throw it around. And from that point on, I throw the ball around the infield, and then all of a sudden, all my nerves just kind of like settled. They disappeared. All the nervousness just went away after one play. Very strange feeling. And then I went back to just feeling like I could play the game. And then I went in and got my at-bat. And when I stepped in for my at-bat against Maddox, I was very nervous before the game. I had no nerves when I stepped in the box. And uh, I got a 1-1 fastball. I hit a line drive to center field for a single. Round of first base. And uh, James Loney was over there. And he said, like, hey, congrats, man. They threw the ball in. And, uh, and I said, damn, I'm Barry Bonds, man. I'm going to get, like, 3,000 hits. And this is going to be easy. <laughs> and... Um, and it didn't turn out that way. It was not easy. Um, but for that one minute, it was pretty awesome and felt easy. And uh, obviously a moment that I uh, won't forget. Very excited to have it. And I, I wish I had uh, more success in the major leagues. Ended up playing, again, if you don't know my story, I ended up playing a little bit over a year in the major leagues with service time. But I only got about 52 at-bats. Uh, in 2010, I spent the whole, almost the whole season on the major, on the major league roster. Um, but I was injured the whole year, broke my hand, and uh, had wrist surgery. And then I never got another chance to get up to the major leagues again. Had a couple of good years in the minors, had a couple of bad years in the minors, but never got a shot to get back up there. So that's kind of the story of my major league debut and my short major league career. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any more questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, share the video with all your friends, all that good stuff, and we'll talk to you later.